So I've been looking through previous patch notes and the only thing they've ever done to the FR556 is actually nerf it. They nerfed it very early back in season one and really removed the one burst potential. It is still there, but it requires quite a few headshots. And it's rather disappointing because burst weapons are not gonna say my favorite weapons in the game, but they're super rewarding when you are able to pick up those one burst kills. So here's my wish list here is not necessarily that they buff up the FR556, but they do the burst weapons justice in Black Ops 6. Is the FR556 usable? Absolutely. So my first attachment here is the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5X. I don't consider this weapon to be a close range choice. Therefore, the 2.5X is going to be my number one option. Obviously, it is a preference and you can choose any optic you want to, but I highly recommend giving this one a try. For my next attachment, I have the SA Cash and Grip for recoil control and gun kick control. That's going to give you 7% across the board to gun kick and recoil control. Self-explanatory attachment is going to make it much easier to hit your shots at range. For my magazine here, I am using the 45 round mag. By default, this weapon only has a 25 round mag. Not really worth it, in my opinion. You are going to need some extra extra bullets because in a lot of cases you're going to have four enemies rounding a corner and you're going to need that extra magazine size for my underbarrel here i'm trying out the kimura rin 03 vertical grip in a lot of cases you guys know i like to run the bruin heavy support grip but in this particular case this weapon has a lot more vertical kick than it does horizontal therefore this one seems to fit the bill pretty well we're going to get gun kick vertical recoil control long fire aiming stability so it's going to give you 14 percent there to the gun kick along with 12% to the vertical recoil control. And my final attachment is the Zem Compensated Flash Hider, giving you vertical and horizontal recoil control, along with even more fire aiming stability, kind of basically touching on what we just did there with that underbarrel, along with rear grip. It's gonna give you 5% to the horizontal recoil control and 15% to the vertical recoil control. I can't remember what this blueprint is from. I don't know if it's from like the DNA event. I just don't remember getting it. I've never looked I, until I chose to make an FR556 video. I didn't even know I had this thing. So if you guys know where this thing came from, make sure you guys are down in the comment section. And let me know. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen. I want you guys to make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me. We're going to jump over into a gameplay to show you that the FR556 is a viable option here in Modern Warfare 3. Granted, it doesn't one burst as much as I want it to, but still a viable choice nonetheless. Let's get into it. So I'm not going to go out and act like the FR556 is like a 100% meta weapon, but I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Most of the weapons in this game are extremely viable. Oh, baby. I am sorry. Oh, he was the guy on the ground. I was about to say most weapons in this game are viable it is the long story short of what I was going with there. Fuck with my team. Out. So the balance in this game is very, very good. Like that's the credit I want to give. The balance is there's not many games where you can go out and say, oh, 90% of the weapons have a chance at finding success with like even everything from What are you trying to do, brother? You jumped on the game and wanted a knife. That's what we're doing. But I can't remember a COD game where I jumped on it and a lot of the weapons were extremely viable, extremely good. Uh, am I? Hello? Dude, what was that hit rag? Like, I'm not missing there. I'm mildly confused. I'm going to back up because I'm going to go out and assume here my team's pushed up that way. They're probably going to hit this here. So I'm going to hit. I'm going to head. Oh, teammate died. So they are pushing this way. confused with what's happening here okay one just get yep great timing on my end i don't know if it was a lag issue there or what i'm not really sure but that hit rag was uh a little wild like i was you could see it unless that is an unwall bangable couch which i suppose 
suppose is very possible. Uh, that just shouldn't happen. Of course, that's my opinion, but I think my opinion is uh, rather valid on that situation. There we go. Middle. Okay. I can't exactly run at them, so I gotta play careful. Good job, team. The lobby feels better now, as far as connection goes, so I can only assume here that it's fixed itself or that is in fact an unwall bangable couch which if that is the case truly disappointing look at this guy jumping around like a bunny rabbit you did all that for what jumped all did all that bunny rabbit jumping for what And DNA. Gonna let that go. Just get called in. Do have another VTOL, but it doesn't do much on this map. Fully functional. Uh, I'm gonna hit the VTOL just so I don't lap it. Fall on the hill, watch my back. Jump the corner, brother. You're doing all this jumping and stuff for what? I was waiting on you. Make your move. That's a quad feed. This guy's below me. What's he trying to do here? What are you guys doing? You're going to hit my stairs? Nice try, pal. This guy's going to think I'm cheating. I'm on a 40 gun streak here. We're going to drop the VTOL right on middle map, right on the next objective. Fully functional. Dropped him. These guys can't even figure out what's happening. Sixty. Five with that. I don't know what that guy's doing. He might be shooting my streak down. I'm not gonna run at it because most of the arrows are over here. Now we need to rotate over here quickly. Nope. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The VTOL actually did some work here. Basically, I had an advanced UAV this entire game.
I'm on a 61 gun streak. Get off the hill. Get off the hill. Holy smokes. That might be my best gun streak so far. Eh, I was waiting for accusations and it didn't happen.